So started with uh, putting the legs on. This was uh, was tricky. It was very hard to get on, and uh, you know I had sanded a little bit on the top where it goes in just to make sure it was fit. And I cheat a little bit. They don't say to do it on till later, but I did it now. I put some grease on there, but even with that, it was really hard. So what I did is I made a stick like this, put a bit of tape on the end. And what you can do is you can fit that right in here. And so I had one person twisting this back and forth. And at the same time, I lifted up on it and that seemed to work. And it's in there now. And you can see in here now I need to drill it out, which is just kind of interesting because it's drilled all the way through except for one side. Um, one of the things you will need is a bit. This is not a standard bit. I can't remember what it is. It is, um, let's see here, 0 0.311 inch bit. I had to order it and uh, get it brought in. So now that I have the bit, I've inserted it into the hole, and now I'll put the drill on there because there's not a lot of space. Put the drill on here and uh, drill the hole out. Once you've done that, you've got to go take it off again, deburr it, grease it up, put it back on, and then once I do that, um, it'll be ready at least temporarily for the wheels. I haven't, uh, I haven't got the the bracket for the fairing prepped yet so I'm going to put the wheels on here just so I've got them up on wheels and uh, I'll fix that up later but you'll notice it had to go up quite high to be able to uh, get this leg in when the wheel goes on it'll come down quite a bit once you take it off the blocks that I've got it on but um, it is pretty high but that that worked out really well just kind of basically swinging it back and forth and then once you've got it to where you want it to be, just kind of swinging it until you got the holes lined up. And by the way, this hole here is very snug. Um, you know, you can't just pull this bit in and out. Um, it just fits. And I've, I've heard that once you go to put the bolt in here, the bolt is a pretty tight fit as well. So you really need to have these holes lined up very well. But uh, I'm actually excited about it. This is, you know, once I put the wheels on it, I've got the door skins put together. You know, now it's starting to close in a lot more and uh, it's, you know, feeling like we're getting a lot closer. But I thought I'd share that little tidbit and, uh, you know, I don't know if it's the right thing to do. Uh, certainly the grease thing seemed to make it a lot easier. And uh, hopefully now once it's been in, when you take it out and you put it back in, it'll be, I think it'll be much easier, but it's a pretty snug fit and it needs to be because obviously you don't want your wheel legs moving around. You want them nice and snug. Anyway, there it is. Cheers. I never made a video specifically for this, but here you can see the wheel. And then when I flip it over, you can see the uh, rotor and the brake pad that's attached. So you got to remove that. Here's the two separate parts. Then what you're doing is you basically take the two wheels halves apart, you uh, put the tube inside the tire. I use talcum powder inside to kind of get it moving easily and then assemble the two wheel parts back together. And you can see here, this is what it looks like. It's pretty straightforward, nothing uh, too serious, but uh, I figured I'd share it anyway. And we officially have a roller. So pretty exciting. I still need to take the wood off here, but uh, also the wheels are put on. I haven't drilled out the axle yet and I didn't put the brake on because I still need to modify the uh, attachment plate for the wheel fairings. But uh, yeah, I figured this way at least I can roll it around as I need to move it. Um, I'll need to take those off. I'll drill those out. The bearings have been greased and I did use my little grease tool for that. But uh, here you have it. And now, uh, for the moment, it's convenient. I can just put the doors on, but I now need to cut them out. So I need to start fitting those. That'll be next on my list. Getting the, uh, the wheel fairing modified, so that'll work. And then uh, 
I haven't put the nose wheel on. I will probably do that, but I'm gonna do that once I get the vent boxes put in. Unfortunately, I don't have the firewall forward kit, which means I don't have the box here for the oil cooler, which means I'll end up having to take it off again. So I don't know, I haven't decided on that, not a rush. Um, be pretty nice to put the wheel on, but not a priority. And then of course I've got the material for the firewall. So there we have it. And uh, putting the wheels on where these axles was uh, interesting. The wheels also with the bearings are a very tight fit, but overall it worked out uh, pretty good. So, you know, it's starting to, uh, it's starting to get there. And especially, you know, I haven't got the avionics in here, but obviously I've got a lot of the avionics done downstairs and I've got to torque some bolts. But I figured I'd share this. Cheers.